Woohoo! Cowabunga, dudes! I'm hanging ten! Only kidding. I'm not really surfing at the beach right now. I'm on a green screen. See? This is something that's called Chroma King. And we're going to learn all about it today on Film Learning. Radical! Hey guys, welcome to Film Learning, the show dedicated to learning some filmmaking and learning you good. Now, hopefully you survived the cringiness of that opening sketch, because what we're doing today is going back in time and creating a retro VHS effect, or VHS distortion effect, whatever you want to call it. That's what we're doing today. Now, over the years, this has been requested by a whole bunch of you, so I'll just put you all on screen right now. There we go, my conscience is clear. Now before we get into it, I just want to address the fact that we are literally like 18 subs away from 40,000. By the time this goes up, we may very well be there. If so, my god, awesome, and there'll be another video this week where I eat Spongebob. That's all I'm really going to say about that. Now obviously I want to address the elephant in the room, and that is there's already a really good plugin for a VHS effect, and that's Red Giant Universe's VHS. But we all don't have the money to buy a red giant universe. So what I wanted to create is something that can ape that effect and not use any plugins. So that's what I did. So in order to complete this effect, you need to download the pack in the description, which contains a comp that I've made in CS6. So everybody don't panic. It's not just CC uses this time. And all you've got to do is just shoot your own footage the way you normally would. And all we're going to do is drop that footage straight in. Now let's get to work. Okay guys, here we are in After Effects CS6. That's right, I've dusted it off for this episode just so this VHS comp is compatible with as many of you as possible. So first off, I'm gonna show you just how easy this thing converts your footage into crappy VHS, and then we'll talk a little bit about how it works. So as you can see, I've got my cheesy 80s slash 90s surfing video complete with mullet and purposely bad green screen. And all I'm gonna do is grab that footage and drop it in below the placeholder that says Drop footage below here, and BAM! Already done. That took like, uh, no time at all really. Well, almost. There's one more step. If you look here, this adjustment layer that's turned off says copy this onto your duplicated footage. So let's duplicate our footage by hitting Ctrl D, and then copy and paste this effect onto the video layer. Yeesh, that looks terrible, but Let's change the transfer mode to screen. Nice. What this does is add a little bit more blue spill into the shot and makes it look a little bit more VHS and a little cooler. Now, say you want your footage to look a little more like traditional VHS with the 4-3 letterboxing. Well, just turn on this top layer called 4-3 box and boop, you're good to go. I left mine off purposely as I wanted to fill the frame, but it is there if you need it. Now, as you can see, we have a bunch of stuff going on here in this comp. So let's talk about some of the layers and how they work. The most important layer is our VHS interference. And this is literally footage of someone's old VHS tape that he's recorded and graciously uploaded to YouTube to let folks use it. There's a link in the description to the video and full props to the dude for uploading this, as the effect wouldn't work without it. So guys, you will have to download this video and relink it into this comp for it to work. I'll add some instructions down in the description. The next layer is just an animated mask layer with a turbulent displacement and some directional blur to add a little bit of tape degrading. The next one here is called Offset, and all this actually does is create a slight offset ghost of the image which further degrades it. Moving on from there, we have our noise layer, which, you guessed it, adds noise to your image. Now I will mention here that the opacity on both the noise and the interference are lowered, so if you want to add more of both, all you have to do is turn that opacity back up. Our last layer is called Image Correction, and all this is is a vertical box blur, a slight color balance that flattens out all the colors, and finally, a brightness and contrast effect that adds a little bit more flatness to our image. Turn them all back on, and working together, they create this pretty cool VHS effect. Now, just for an example, let's add the opening footage to a new comp, and then head up and add Red Giant VHS. And on its default settings, if I say switch back and forth between this comp and the comp we've just created, We've done a decent job at replicating this VHS effect. Is it perfect? 
Well, no. Is it free and easy? Yes. Yes, it is. Out of all those steps, you can get something like this. Woohoo! Cowabunga, dudes! I'm hanging 10! Only kidding. I'm not really surfing at the beach right now. I'm on a green screen. See? This is something that's called Chroma King. And we're gonna learn all about it today on Film Learning Radical! So there you have it guys, a retro VHS effect with no third party plugins, didn't cost you a damn thing, and it looks pretty good if you ask me. Now guys, real quick, I am still working on the Justice League flash effect. It's taking a lot longer than I want it to because it's got a few components. You've got a 3D batarang, you've got the whole slow motion thing, you've got all the blur effects in the background, the lightning and blah blah blah, there's a lot to it, I'm just saying. As always guys, thank you so much for watching, if you enjoyed the video, please like and share it. If you're new here, karate chop that subscribe button. I've got all the social medias up there. And stay tuned in a few days for our 40,000 subscriber celebration video. And until next time, keep learning.